Hello, welcome back to GP Nail Art. Jessica here. Uh, so I have the Cascade Colorworks April sub box. So again, I know this is a little bit uh, late, but uh, I will have the May one out this month and then I will be up to date with it. <laughs> uh, but this one came with these cute little iridescent pink bunny glitters. Uh, I did wear a couple of those on Easter because uh, I did have this um, before Easter. I just didn't record it because I didn't have everything set up yet. But um, I won't be using the glitters. I'll just be, or those glitter pieces, I'll just be using the powders uh, for this mani. So the first powder is this pink, which is tiptoe through the tulips. And we have this minty green color called Puddle Jumpin'. And then this gorgeous glitter, Honey Bees and Flowers Please. So I love that they come out with three colors that coordinate very well with each other for each month. And I've been loving all of them so far, every single one that I've gotten. But uh, so I do have uh, tips on and they're ready to go. I do also have peel base on already. I'm going to start with the pink uh, color. I'm going to apply that onto my pinky and ring finger. I'm only going to show the first layer, but I do three layers. I'll also be using my Cascade Colorworks liquids. So I'll go ahead and let, let you watch that for a moment. All right, so I did do three layers of the color on both of those nails. I'm gonna move on to the puddle jumping. So I am starting with all of the solid colors first and then I'll do the glitter. I find there's less um, possibility of kind of contaminating or getting any glitters on your solids or vice versa if you um, you know do one and then the other. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this um, kind of minty bluish green color on my index finger and my thumb. And again, I'll do the three uh, layers of this as well. So I did decide to pull out one of the cupcake liners and that's just um, because my nail is a little bit on the longer side with the uh, tip and I get the mini jars for the sub box. So I didn't want to chance, um, you know, kind of hitting the bottom of the jar or overflowing it too much or anything like that. So I'm just going to do the pour over method so that I can save as much as of the powder as possible and, 
and uh, it's just easier when you have a longer nail in a smaller jar. Okay, so I have all of my layers done of the solid colors. Now, I was going to jump into the glitter color. Um, you will see I decide to um, activate the other nails first um, before I go into that glitter. A um, couple of ways that you can do this. You could cap those in clear and then activate before you, you know, do any filing. So that'll just protect your color. But also um, activating before you move on to the glitter will just make sure that those nails are nice and uh, hardened. And if you do get any glitter on them, you can just easily brush it away. Um, so I... I was only doing the one nail I decided just to activate these I did not cap these nails in clear um, but I didn't really have to do much filing either they did go on smoothly uh, so I wasn't too worried about removing uh, you know color or trying to protect it with the uh, clear dip powder I am going to um, cap the glitter nail with clear powder though and that's more to protect the glitters from the filing you don't want to file into those glitters because they're usually silver on the inside so that can kind of ruin the look of your mani so that clear will help protect that so i am doing the pour over method for the glitter uh, as well i am showing all of the layers on this nail but i'm going to speed up through um, the rest but i do the pour over and uh, you know occasionally i might even kind of pat down the glitter so everything is laying nice and flat as well and I do have some new dust brushes as well I will link those in the description box below for you it was um, a set of six from Amazon and all of the brushes are kind of different colors um, the I used to have a smaller uh, shorter brush that I used just for um, glitters, but the handle kind of kept coming off. <laughs> so I decided to, to get some new um, brushes and I saw that one and I thought that that would just be a nice one to be designated for the glitter with all that kind of multicolored going on in the, the brush and the handle. So that'll be my new glitter dust brush. But um, I'll link that in the description box below for you. All right, so as I said, I did cap that middle nail in the clear with the Cascade Colorworks clear powder. Uh, however, I guess I didn't record that part, so I do apologize, but nothing out of the ordinary, just a normal dip powder process, one layer of the clear. So I'm just going in with the activator to make sure that that nail gets uh, hardened along with the rest. And then I do file off camera uh, for this one. And I'll come back with everything all nice and filed. All right, so after all of the filing, uh, you do go in with another layer of the activator on all of your nails, and that's what's gonna make sure that your dip top coat is uh, nice and shiny or gets nice and shiny so don't skip that step uh, before I go in with the top coat though uh, I am just going to wipe the nails off with a clean paper towel I don't have alcohol on um, this one I'm just kind of wiping those nails down to kind of remove any activator residue from my skin or the surface of uh, my nails but I am going to go in with a couple of those stickers as an additional 
uh, accent for this Manny. Uh, I pulled out these stickers. I believe I got these on AliExpress, but I'm not entirely sure. So I apologize about that. But um, I'm just going to kind of go with the same sticker on both my index and ring finger. Um, and just kind of around my cuticle line um, a little bit. So you'll see right here, I'm just kind of placing that a little bit off to the side. So it looks like it's kind of, you know, hanging down, going um, down the side of my nail, but close to my cuticle. And this is before top coat. Uh, as well, and I'm just going to press that in with the um, flat side of my tweezers there to make sure it's laying as flat as possible uh, as well. I really love the stickers because they're usually a little bit more vibrant looking than the water decals, and of course they're sticky so I don't have to put anything uh, on my nail first uh, in order to make sure that it's going to stick or stay in place. So same thing on this nail, I'm just putting it kind of on the opposite side so they're kind of mirroring each other. But I just thought it was a nice additional uh, accent for this Manny and kind of tying all of the uh, colors in together. And I just I thought it came out really pretty. I really like this Manny and, uh, you know, thought it was a little bit of an added accent besides just the glitter and the, the powder colors. So really like this one. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the top coat. So of course with the first layer we're going to go over the nail in just two to three swipes down the whole length of uh, the nail and then wiping off the brush in between because you don't want to contaminate your brush or bottle with any of that activator if there is still any on your nail and I'm going right over the sticker with that as well just to make sure that that's also going to be sealed uh, in place and I didn't have any problems uh, with this Manny uh, you know up until I took it off those stickers stayed in place so I was really happy uh, with that since they were just under uh, the top coat. All right, so I'm gonna immediately go in with that second layer, starting again with the pinky and going through the rest. And on this layer, you can do more strokes of your brush across the nail, get the free edge if you want to. I like to because I use peel base that just kind of helps seal everything in. And again, still wiping off that brush in between each uh, nail just in case, because um, you know, you just, it really sucks when you go to do your mani the next time and then your liquid is all goopy and you can't uh, use it. So that just helps protect your liquids. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up and then um, we'll be just about done. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up with my Candy Skin Care Cuticle Oil. Um, but I really love how this Manny uh, came out. I'm really loving the vibrant uh, spring colors. And I'm really loving the Cascade Colorworks sub boxes uh, as well. So let me know uh, what you think of this. If you've tried um, the Cascade Colorworks sub box or any other subscription box that I should maybe uh, look into because uh, I you know I'm always looking for new uh, products so leave your comments or suggestions in 
the uh, comment section below. Um, but uh, let me know what you think. I'm really loving this Manny. And until next time, bye for now.